because it's covered up, then your hair might start growing. I, that's between you and your how about you on shot if it does. But I'm just trying to speak logically on the situation. Bro. You don't need to be looking like a million bucks. Yeah, I wish I wasn't walking around worried about his appearance. So why are you? Why why does your appearance so matter so much to you? Now you have like Alicia Keys and some of them other women, they taking the makeup all the way off. Now every time I see Alicia Keys, she got a head cut. It's, it's, it, this thing is growing. This thing is growing. People don't want to necessarily say, I'm an Israelite on, on the VMAs or whatever. But this this spirit is is growing. People right. don't want to be niggas no more. That's right. People don't want to be uh, uh, looked at as whores no more. You see Alicia Keys, she got with, uh, forget to do, uh, Swiss, Swiss Beats. Beats. They got kids, and, and from my perception, I could be dead wrong, seems like she's trying to get her shit together. She's trying to be a woman for her family. That's what I'm saying. I don't know behind the closed doors. That's what, he, that's what a woman uh, 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 of the scripture should be doing. Worrying about your family. Not worrying about a new dress. Worrying about cooking good food. Not worrying about uh, the new hairstyle or, or am I going to have enough money to pay for my weave and my daughter. Take the weave out. That's right. Trusting y'all about smell shop for everything. I would say, yeah, also uh, tending to your husband. If you got one, man, taking care of the house. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. You know, that was a curse back in Genesis that a woman's desire should be to her husband, you know, but it's the, that's, that's the order. You know, you know that, that, that's your lore. That, that, that's Sarah. To Abraham, that's her book, man. The scripture to you. you know, so, like we were saying, you really taking care of the house, God in the house, raising kids up to a certain amount of time, you know, and tending to your husband. You would a man who's in, who's in the true spirit of how about some y'all shop, why not tend to him? Why not take care of him? The same way he's going to be taking care of you. Why not do it? It would make for a beautiful household. Instead of, instead of always nagging, always wanting something to go your way. Just step back and say, well, hey, look, I want the, I want the household to go the right way. And, and the most high said the flock of my pastor are men, so I'm out. But guess what? My husband, he's doing it the right way, so I'm going to take care of him. And the most high will shine a light on our house. Kids be taken care of. The whole nun. Uh, verse 10. But which becometh women professing godliness with good works. <laughs> let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Now, when we say this, most of the time women look at us like, y'all crazy. But in that same uh, 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 mouth, they say that they're a Christian. Well, this is what you're supposed to be doing as a, Christ, as a Christian, but especially as a woman that's calling herself a Hebrew Israelite. It doesn't, I mean, sometimes we get a little wild with it and say women need to shut the hell up. But what are the scriptures saying? Shut the hell up. The scriptures are saying be quiet <laughs> That's right. and learn. Don't That's talk so much. Don't constantly try to interject your opinion. That's right. Just learn. And even if, if you don't get it, just keep trying to learn it. Just keep trying to learn it. That's what brothers do. We don't get it the first time, but we keep, we keep trying to learn it. Just be quiet. Sit back, go over them old breakdowns, keep hitting those, and, and, and eventually the most high bless you with that spirit. So if you find yourself constantly with something to say, constantly trying to interject, then you need to revert back to what these scriptures say. Read that one more time. Uh, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. That's right. The scriptures say that you are not supposed to usurp authority over the man. So why do it? If you do it, then you might as well just take the book and close the whole book. That's just the same as me eating pork. That's just the same as me sleeping with another man's woman. We supposed to follow this the right way. If you're looking for the great result, you got to follow the formula. You have to follow the formula. So you, the most high set up that order, and we are following that order. So women have to follow that order too, if you're trying to be in this thing the right way. That's who we're speaking to right now. Go ahead. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and 
Adam was not in was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. But the woman being deceived was the transgression. You got women out there talking about my husband is your house shot. Guess what? In, in the beginning, that there was Adam. And you were his wife, and what did you do? You went off. You went off. So what you need to do now is understand that I, I fucked up, so I'm gonna get myself together. I'm gonna get myself together. That's what you women need to be saying to yourself. He were the cause. The scripture saying he, the woman, was the cause of the transgression. So you need to sit back, take all this in, and say, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna get right with your whole shot. Period. Point. Period. Point. Blank. And just like, okay, you have men that may go a long while without being with a woman, right? Women might do the same thing. You might run into the same issue. These brothers I know that went two years, three years without being with. Women might have to go through the same thing before you lay to a brother that's in the right spirit. That's right. But don't give up. You don't say, well, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to uh, wear uh, leggings and, and, and a bra to the club, find me a man real quick. No, don't win that shit. You got to fight just like we got to fight. That's right, brother. We coming across women. And, and, and we understanding that no, nah, I can't, I can't deal with this woman because I know if I do, my whole life and it come crumbling down. So nope, I'm not gonna do it. The men, we, I know brothers do that all the time, and, and it's without for long periods of time. You women, you you have to go through the same thing. You may have to go through the same thing, but but hey, don't worry about it. Just keep fighting. Every time that something like that happens, you revert back to Paul without him. Who told, who told, hey, it's probably better off, but you don't have one. It's the same thing with you women. Same thing. You know, you shot, you deal with a woman in this incarnation that you know shot. It was all about the ones who was having the young father. You know, and that, that's crazy when you do wait, and that, that's that patience, man. That, 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 that. You endure like that, the, the rewards are much greater the more patience you have. That's why we're fighting, having patience, having patience with the patience now to get to the table. That's why we're not uh, forsaking the Lord right now. We're going to do what we want. We're having patience, and so we all got to do that. We're trying to be a uh, party elect. We're trying to be delivered. You know, that goes to men and women. That's right, you know? And having patience, that shows faith in your how much you have a shot. The Lord said he ain't gonna, he's not going to forsake you. You trust in him, and he's going to walk with you. So it may just be the way the Most High set up the formula. It's two years before you get with a, a correct person. So you have to follow that formula. But you have to think about it like this. It may have been not that long because all the messed up shit you did throughout your life. So you just have to suck it up and let the most high do his work. Do you want to say what about the Verse 15, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and in holiness and sobriety. So you must continue in those things. Learn what faith is, charity is, sobriety. Learn what those things are. Learn and apply those things to your life and, and, and push it. Don't just be a hearer of the word, be a doer. You have to live it in your daily life. Me personally, when I see women, their head covered, dressed modestly, I like that. I think that's very attractive. Because I, I know that if, if I did get with that woman, I know that I can trust her going out in the world. If, if she says she's going to the store to get some groceries, I can trust her. I, I feel as though I can trust a woman like that. She go to the store, get the groceries, and come back. Now, hey, you know, I feel that way. It doesn't mean that it's true. It's not always true. <laughs> But I feel that. I feel confident walking around with, with a woman that's covered up. Because I don't, I don't have to worry about what other men are, are feeling or thinking or looking. I don't have to worry about that. I feel confident holding a woman's hand that's dressed modestly. Because all those other thoughts don't come into my mind. <coughs> all right, we're going to jump to Titus. Verse, chapter 2, start at verse 3. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. That's right. You, you must, that must be your work right there. You must speak well. When I say speak well, what am I talking about? You, you must live this. This must be your anastrophe. This must be your whole being. This is your talk. The truth. 
you ain't out here gossiping. You shouldn't be out here gossiping about uh, love and hip hop, housewives of Dallas, whatever it may be. Your conversation is a whole separate from the bullshit that's going on in the world. Your conversation is a good thing. That's right. So we have to be separate, man. Because women are the one we can best according to the scriptures. Women are very impressionable. So you gotta, you gotta really try to separate yourself from all that BS and violence, man. You know, and also it says uh, not being false accusers. So that means uh, thinking that your man is out doing some crazy stuff all the time, riding, riding them on things like that, you know? You don't have the faith that you have a man in the Lord that's going to do right by you. you know, whatever your situation is, he's going to feel wise and he wants to stand behind by shooting outside. You got to trust him. That's right. Not, not always think the bad, you know, you might be out with too late, whatever. Not always think the bad of it. You know, you got to see the brothers, you know. That's right. Yeah. And it says, like the brother pointed out, false accusers, not lying on your husband. Not telling your, your father and your mother that he's the worst nigga in the world. I see plenty of women do that. They tell their whole family that this nigga ain't shit. Lying about a majority of the shit. But then they looking at her like, well, why the hell you keep going back to him? Because your ass lying about the whole, about the whole thing that transpired. You done took the nigga clothes and poured bleach on him and threw his, all this stuff in the trash. Of course he don't want to come back over there. But you don't, you don't tell all that part of the story. You just tell the part that like, he don't want to come see the kids. He don't want to come over there and end up going to jail behind you. Therefore, my beloved brother. That's what I mean. Believe out. You believe not the other dude that you have over there trying to, trying to jump on him. Always you know what I'm saying? When you bash him all on Facebook, Ryan, you got to get this out there. That's right. Since your brother pointed out Facebook, on Facebook, period. Put that shit up. Get into real life. Not, not online life. Not pictures. Get into real life. Make that stuff work for you. God. Stop trying to make it seem as though everything's Always cool and really make Lord. things cool. Really get in there and try to make your life something worth living. Now, how do you do that? Through your hour watch and your shop. It's through your words. You, not through, uh, take the, uh, what are them, uh, inspirational Bible quotes with the praying hands on there? Oh, yeah. You putting pictures like that on there, but you ain't, you ain't read a scripture in months. Stop posting the picture and read. Read the book. Yeah. Stop talking about praying and all that and really go in there and pray. That's right. So I ain't gonna cut you up. Uh, verse 4, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. That's right. So if you're doing it right, you can cause a ripple effect in your whole family, in your whole, in, in everybody that you're around. You can, you can cause a ripple effect. You can cause other women to say, you know what, let me sit my ass down. Let me, you know, let me get off this Facebook. Let me put this shit down and let me learn how to learn how to cook some 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 good healthy meals. Not just cook meals, good healthy meals. You cook good healthy meals, and people in your people in your household start to feel good. They start to have energy. You don't have to come in the room and, and, and shake the kids to death to wake them up. If you feed them good, they'll pop right up. Take away the sodas. I remember the other day I saw a woman give. Uh, 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 down here you have Pollo Reggio, it's like a chicken, what do they call it, like a rotisserie chicken place, right? I'm in there, and it's a so-called Mexican woman. She gives her, I mean, the baby couldn't have been two, maybe three. Gives her a 32-ounce soda, maybe with two hands, sucking it all through the straw. Man, that, that baby, is, is, you might as well just kick the baby in the head or something. Yeah, all that sugar in a 32 ounce soda, all that sugar. The, it's more sugar in the soda than the, the baby is, is weighing. Yeah. The baby don't weigh but a uh, 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 cool 10 pounds. You just put two pounds of sugar in it. And it went and got a refill. Oh. It's a damn shame. Be, don't be that type of woman. Be the type of woman to tell other women, hey, look, that, that ain't good. Let me, let me break it down to you. Why your baby's nose is always running? Why your baby always cough? Why your baby always sick? Let me break this stuff down to you. Be that type. Even if you're not that vocal, your, your works are showing. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, damn, your kids ain't never sick. They, then that's when they'll start asking you questions. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, why is my clothes in your household? It just, it just feels right. There's no downfield negativity in your household. The, the, the spirits and energy, man, that, that stuff weighs, man. You feel that stuff. That's right. You,
Santa de Bart. 